Hey everybody, what's up? Dismal from TGAlter.com. Here we go, another episode of the Ask Ismail video series. Uh, today's question is from Lucas from Brazil. Hi Lucas, and I uh, hope you're doing great. So today's question is related to the uh, camera roll filter in Photoshop. Um, so well, let's go ahead and read the question. I watched your video, how to balance the exposure, and that was fantastic. Thanks, Lucas. Uh, solves a lot of my trouble, really. But here's the question. When I use the camera roll filter in an image, a 32-bit EXR, it automatically changes its contrast, I think, uh, without changing any parameters. This changes a lot the final image. What am I doing wrong? Actually, Lucas, you're not doing anything wrong. Um, um, it Actually, the camera roll filter is going to force a little bit of contrast and it's going to force uh, compression on the highlights, on the overexposed areas. And it's going to, to do a first guess, if you like, at the beginning. Uh, and we can't do anything about it. It's just the way it works. Um, so um, let me show you actually in your own image that you sent me. Okay, so this is the file that you that you sent me, uh, Lucas. Uh, this is the XR file. So I'm going to open it in the camera rule filter. And as you can see right out of the box, it's going to guess for me and it's going to give me a little bit of uh, tune mapped image, which, you know, it just compresses the highlights and it, it, it forces a little bit of contrast. And by the way, we can't, as I said, we can't uh, ignore that. It's just, it's going to force it and uh, we can't do anything about it. Um, this is how, how the camera roll filter works. Um, there's actually a quick uh, tip that you can use in order to go back a little bit. So you can use, uh, you can go back to 2010 um, in process and you can go to here and uh, you change this to zero, this to zero and this to zero. And you go all the way down of the contrast and you get something similar. But um, this is actually not the purpose of um, of using the tune mapping. The purpose of tune mapping is to really create a better image. So you don't want to go back to the first state, right? So I'm going to go back to the 2012 uh, 12 because, you know, all the options that I had um, in the <coughs> 2012 version uh, just disappeared. So I'm going to go back to the 2012 and um, here I'm going to do zero. Um, actually, what I can do is I can do reset. So bam, reset. Okay, so what I can do here is I can go to the sharpness, for example, I can uh, turn the sharpness off because it's going to apply um, a little bit of sharpness automatically. So um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, here you can, you, for example, if you have uh, more contrast, you can turn the contrast a little bit down just by using the contrast later here. Um, if you have more uh, light, you can turn it off. You can uh, play with the shadows, you play with the blacks. And here's a quick tip as well, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, for example, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna see the clipping with the highlights and clipping with the shadows, you can use these two buttons here. Just click, enable them. And anything that is going to be looking uh, blue is the clipping on the, on the black. So I can go to the black here and I can turn it uh, like that so that you don't have pure black because there's nothing pure black in the nature. Um, and um, yeah, same thing for actually the highlights. Here I don't have highlights, but um, where is the highlights here? Okay, there you go. <laughs> I was <laughs> thinking, where is the where is the actual highlights here? Uh, since it does clip, so um, yeah. So if I turn just the highlights, let let's say that we have highlights here. Um, you know, just by turning this button on and off, I can see the highlights in red color. So I can turn it. Um, just a little bit off so that it disappear and I can stop. So, yeah. So this is how I would, I would work with the camera roll filter. It forces the settings. We can't do anything about it. So, um, there you go. I hope this answers your question, Lucas. Um, if it's not clear, let me know and I'll do another video. Um, so yeah, remember this, uh, the camera filter, uh, is going to force contrast and, uh, compression on the highlights. We can't do anything about it. So yeah. Um, I highly recommend actually that you use, uh, um, you know, the multi-pass compositing in, in order to do tune mapping. For example, you can target the V-Ray lighting, uh, pass and you can do, uh, just an exposure adjustment on top of it and you can have much more control. And this is the way I use it actually. This method actually, the camera filter, is for something that 
you know, you want to, you want to get something very quick. You're in a rush. The client is behind you. You want to give them something. So yeah, you use the very common rule. But if you're going to use, uh, this is actually the method that we use at TG Alter Tribe. So multi-pass compositing, uh, passes. We target, uh, the passes and those passes actually we can give us more control. You can actually even target luminous or color, uh, separately, which is a powerful thing. So yeah, I hope this answered your question, Lucas, and, um, have a good day.